subject matter expert of this video is Dr. Iram Khan from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. And the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is Professor Jasim Ahmed from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. Iram Khan, Assistant Professor at Institute of Advanced Studies in Education, Department of Teachers Training and Non-Formal Education, Faculty of Education, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about a topic which is related to the concept, the principles and the stages of development. Let us start the session first with the objectives. To understand the process of growth and development in a more proper way, let us try to see the general principles of growth and development. The first principle is that development is a product of the interaction. Development is a process resulting from a constant flux or interchange uh, of energy within an organism and the environment in which the organism resides. Hereditary factors or the forces inherent in the genetic constitution of the individual and the environmental forces influence the development of the organism. And it is very difficult to distinguish the contribution either of the two forces. Like if we try to make, uh, make out that which force is responsible more, it will be very difficult. So an individual basically is a byproduct of the uh, constant interaction with its environment. So heredity and the environment, both of these uh, things basically constitute the and uh, they, they actually work together in, in due course of making the development in the human being's personality or in the personality of any individual. According to the second principle, which says that development follows an orderly sequence. Individuals differ in rate of growth and development and uh, uh, the development follows an orderly sequence in all the individuals and shows high degree of similarity in the order in which various developmental aspects appear. So psychologists and uh, different developmental uh, uh, educationists or psychologists have reported several directional trends in the development. What are these trends? Let us try to see one by one. The first trend is called as the cephalocaudal type of development. Here the development is considered to be started from the head and it proceeds towards the toe, from head to toe or to the heel. The next uh, direction is considered to be the proximo digital uh, direction, or the way in which the development happens. So here the development starts from the center line or the from the center and it, uh, it moves towards the periphery of the body, to the outer parts, basically from center to the periphery. So it starts from the center and then it percolates towards the outer sides or outer parts of the body which are more distant from the center. So this is the proximo digital. Then we have got the third way or the third pattern which is the uh, locomotory or locomotion. In the locomotion uh, type or uh, directionality of development, we can find that locomotion develops in a sequence in all the infants of different cultures of the world. The sequence is first the, the child starts some sort of creeping and then crawling starts and then the child uh, like starts to stand and then maybe the, the walking process will start. So this the sequence is somehow found in all the uh, human babies throughout the world. So this is the second principle which talks about the development when the development is considered to be following an orderly sequence. Then the third principle says that development is a continuous process. Here uh, it is said that development begins from the time of conception in the womb of the mother and it continues till maturity. But it should be kept into consideration that it is not always smooth and gradual. They also say that the process of development goes on throughout the life. But in case of uh, any type of uh, illness 
or in case of any type of uh, issues with the health health issues we can find that the physical growth and the uh, psychological functioning uh, can be uh, having some sort of negative impacts also uh, we can find that uh, as the height and the weight uh, is increased we can find the child uh, having some sort of uh, greater vocabulary uh, and uh, th that can be seen more in uh, the case of the preschoolers and once the child gains some more age then the child actually suddenly tries to solve the problems and more abilities can be uh, appeared uh, can be seen to appear in the adolescents and uh, the growing children but in case of any sort of illness or any physical issues we can also find uh, that uh, the the growth and the development is hampered so this continuous process is uh, uh, always uh, to be considered but those type of hindrances are also there in few of the cases then the next principle says that the process of growth and development is bilateral to unilateral it has got a trend from bilateral to unilateral so the newborn is essentially a symmetrical organism anatomically physiologically and functionally this functional symmetry is revealed in the early motor development the infants up to the age of around 2.5 years use both the hands with equal ease the hand preference starts like using only the right hand for eating and you know, for doing different tasks or maybe the other hand the left hand this type of things the the hand preference and all starts after the age of two and a half basically it is the outcome of uh, the the culture and uh, the upbringing so you can find many children using both the hands and maybe uh, if a child is using the left hand for eating you can find many mothers and uh, parents uh, stopping him or her to do so and asking him or her to use the right hand and these type of things actually can be seen uh, depending on the cultural mind then the next uh, principle says that different aspects of development are interrelated so different aspects of development are interrelated and interdependent a child's early social behavior is interrelated with his or her physical development if the child is uh, somehow having any sort of handicaps handicaps or disability then the social behavior of this child is going to be uh, found to be retarded in in few of the cases but there is also a possibility that the child is included and there is no any kind of kind of retardation found in in the disabled child but in few of the cases we can find that the retardation is seen in many of the social behaviors the motor development of walking has positive effect on the intellectual development of children and in this way we see that different types of developments are interdependent and they help each other so if you are seeing a child who is not speaking the words the vocabulary is not coming out you can see even you can observe that maybe the other motor abilities are also not working properly so if you try to improve the motor functionalities automatically you can find improvement in the uh, speaking ability of the child the next is the development is an individualized process all the individuals develop in their own way every individual is an unique entity each child has his or her own rate of physical mental emotional and social development if we observe the 6 year old children we can find great differences in their height their weight and their social and emotional and also the readiness of their learning ability even at different ages children have different rates of development the rate of growth is very high in infancy and then it slows down and it continues throughout uh, the life of this human being uh, the development actually grows uh, goes on throughout the life but growth it may uh, stop it, it actually stops once the maturity is attained so growth may occur by various 
pits and these starts uh, where which mean that uh, the rate of growth changes at different stages of the children child's uh, development you can find a child growing uh, increase in height in in a span of one year that you you uh, like before one year when once you have seen the child the child was not uh, very uh, very long but after one year once you saw the child you, you have seen that there was a substantial increase in the in the height of this child so you can find different type of uh, growth patterns in in unique uh, uh, cap capacities in different children the next principle says that development is cumulative why this principle basically development is a cumulative process and certain changes impress the observer with their dynamic suddenness but actually these changes do not emerge all of a sudden the child's first word the first step all are the results of the cumulative progress as the child has continuously been preparing for these functions so these are not sudden changes or sudden uh, activities these are going on uh, like accumulating and then all of a sudden you can find that first the child was babbling only and making all those noises and then one day uh, he speaks a proper word so or even in case of uh, walking without any uh, without uh, uh, any problem without uh, asking for help so these things actually are gradual they are uh, the child is working on uh, all these abilities from a time and then for some day you can find uh, the activity happening in a very proper way and you can say that it's a sudden uh, change but actually it is not sudden so each change is the culmination of the prior growth and the experiences then the next principle is that development proceeds from general to the specific in all types of developments we find the principle of mass differentiation and integration the world at the time of birth is a big buzzing blooming confusion for the child out of mass and differentiated behavior emergence uh, more differentiated refined behavior and the goal directed responses basically uh, will emerge so we can take any development and find that this principle applies this principle of uh, general to specific actually applies and if we take the example of language development of the child we can say that the, this uh, language development begins from the birth when the child cries as a mass response and out of this mass response differentiation starts and gradually the child acquires some little bit of vocabulary and then uh, by the time this this vocabulary increases and many words are added and consequently the skill of communication develops next principle is the principle of rate of development differs in male and female children there is a difference in the growth rate of boys and girls girls mature earlier in comparison to boys this is a very well known fact girls are taller and heavier than boys during the pre adolescence but by the end of adolescence boys actually surpass this height and weight and all and then um, at by the end of the adolescence we can find that boys are more grown in height and they they become at times heavier also than the girls then the next principle says that development is a spiral process it is not a linear process but it is spiral the child does not proceed straight on the path of development with uh, some sort of constant and steady pace basically uh, what happens that uh, this child makes advancement during a particular period but takes rest in the following period to uh, to consolidate the development in advancing further and then uh, basically he he actually tries to uh, go a little back and then back and forth back and forth and this type of movement uh, actually goes on a little bit uh, of increase is happening and we can find a spiral of uh, growth happening here when we are seeing a child growing up 
so this moving forward with a little back and forth happens and like a spiral which is actually uh, smaller in the in the uh, base and bigger at the uh, apex you can find same type of structure happening when we, you try to make a diagrammatic representation of the growth of the child and these are few of those references and the suggested further readings which can be considered once you are uh, are trying to study more about the topic so see you all another day another time in another session thank you for this time thank you so much